welcome back to my channel. I'm sure you kinda can figure out what this video is about based on the title and thumbnail. I'm gonna share my tragic burning story and how I recovered it. I think this will be helpful for people out there who are experiencing the same thing. Because when this happened to me, the first thing I did was trying to search through YouTube. I was surprised I couldn't find that much result about this. It happened around middle of the January. Around dinner time, I was heating up a leftover soup by using the pot. And once that's done, instead of serving the soup with a bowl, I decided just to eat it as it is from the pot. That way, I had one less extra dish I had to wash. Just when I put the pot down on the table, and then about to sit down, my clothes was caught by the pot handle. So as I'm sitting down, the whole pot just went, they pulled all over my right leg. Unfortunately, I was wearing a legging, so my first instant reaction, of course, is take off the legging and then pour cold water on my leg right away. I was so in shock. I sit inside the best top uh, with like cold water covering my leg. And at that time, it's not as painful as that moment anymore. Soon I start seeing my skin start forming wrinkle and grayish color. This is a time I was kind of worried like, am I gonna leave a scar? After sitting inside the cold water for about 10 minutes, I start feel like my body feels really cold. So I just move to the bed and then with the ice pack on my leg and then continue blowing a fan like to try to cooling down that area. After 30 minutes, I start putting on antibiotic pain relieving creams on top of that area based on the internet suggestion. At the same time, I start seeing those areas start forming like a burn blister. Then I just went to sleep with the ice pack on top of it and then um, with the fan is blowing directly to the area. Then the next day, I talked to my uncle who's a doctor and then he told me to get this like non-stick pad and bustling. He says it's important to keep that area moist and then don't let the blister pop, otherwise it's gonna bleed more scar. So I will just take this one, open it. Make sure your fingers are clean. little bit of this cream like that amount and take some something and then put it on here and rub it make sure your finger are clean I mean it's probably better you do it with the q-tip okay spray it evenly and then make it really nice and moist like that put it on this way and cover the entire blister once the blister is done you don't have to do this anymore and then I put on the medical tape but since I ran out of those so I'm completely recovered I don't need those I also talked to my dad about this and he got really emotional <laughs> because he's overseas and then he's always like very worried about me for the painful level it's not painful at all like on just that moment was hurting but everything else was fine and for a low stay i just take a bath instead of taking a shower and i try to avoid to get that area wet and about the fifth day i was dropping off package at the usps and as i was turning the steering wheel i accidentally scratched a blister and then pop it I, it probably won't pop if I put the pad on top of it, but it was just like right after bath and I just want like thinking I would do this like after I come back. It's just gonna be fast. So I didn't put on the pad and I scratched it. The blisters pop. Then I talked to my uncle again and he said it should be fine. It just continue putting on the Vaseline with the pad cover and should be taking about six months to a year to be completely recovered. I took off the pads around like 10 days after because all the blisters already flattened out and we were kind of really surprised on how fast this is recovering. By early March, it's already started looking like this. Like the old skin starts to fall off. Right now, I'm still waiting for it to be like even color 
um, but it looks a lot better in person than from the camera I think camera pick up more color like this incense told me to be always be cautious at the same time don't go for shortcut but if I just don't, don't think about just saving to wash one less dish and it's probably more safe I just eat it from the bowl and also if I could have cover and go out with the pad then it probably the blister won't wanna pop and from now on I will be more protective for my uh, protective about my body at the same time don't let people who care about me to be worried again if you are experiencing similar incidents I hope you find this video a little bit helpful and hope you recover soon thanks for watching like share and subscribe I'll see you in the next video